What's up guys, this is your boy Russian in another Raid Shadow Legends video on the 2024 free to play challenge. Alright guys, so first of all, um, instead of just showing uh, my progress and show how awesome I'm doing, alright, let's tone down that. Um, so I decided I'm gonna actually show you guys what's my strategy to actually move on to not just the challenge, but also, you know, through the game, like the best way to use your energy, everything. Because to be honest, that's what all the creators are doing right now is try to get the most points. And how do you get most points? You go through the challenge and you get higher and higher and that's how you win. Okay. So anyway, let's hit the market. Very important. Hit the market all the time. Uh, one thing I've been doing because it has to do with like get enough chickens and everything and the most when i'm trying to get five stars six stars my champions i'm actually buying a lot in the market right now uh sometimes you're just lucky and you get enough uh uncommon champions but if you're just sinking on commons it's gonna slow you down um you're gonna be trying to do campaign to level your champions and you don't have chickens level so that's one thing you should pay attention on just so you guys know today's day six Ratalos is coming up and that's something that you guys have to pay a lot of attention so i am not going to get him because they're gonna be having uh we're gonna be having the game uh champion chase so instead of that i'm gonna wait until champion chase is in and then get this new champion now you probably ask well but the game forced me to actually get this champion i have to click on it no you don't uh the way to fix that problem so you can just skip and then whenever you want to get him you're just coming retalus chase click on and then pick him is you will close the game you're gonna force close the game as soon as it pops up for you to take him and restart the game it's not gonna pop up again for you to actually go get him like i said retalus chase and then get this dude okay so you guys can save those champions a lot of times all right and wait for a champion chase uh, a lot of times and it didn't work one of the last times i um we had the champion chase and it was used fusions not fusions i'm sorry uh fragments summons so i had one uh i think it was track star in my other account and i thought i was going to get points and guess what zero points for him so just pay attention to some of the rules of those champion chase a lot of times it says it has to come from charts okay anyway let's skip that one thing to pay attention second um i hear a lot of creators talking about how they do not focus too much on missions or, or challenges um yes you should never use way too much energy to complete something that you pretty much can't right or that you could wait for me right here it's better for me to rush introduce what i don't fully have to do as much right now uh i'm probably going to close this by today and be able to get this sacred chart but then I will have some requirements that I will try to knock down as well. And I'll show you what it is. So basically, what I try to focus a lot in is this. You have seven days while every single potion kit is open, right? If I had not completed all the missions up to the point I am right now, I would probably have to wait about two weeks to be able to get where I am. Actually, if I had passed one week, I would have to go through about two weeks of pain waiting for it. Okay? So that's something it's really good for you guys to focus on. Also, challenges. A lot of times, you need equipment, you need whatever. Just come in here. Uh, those, I don't need right now. Because three sets of artifacts is one of the worst things for me, in my opinion. And mostly because 
a lot of times you use two sets, full sets, because some sets use four, right? Four pieces of armor. Uh, so eventually I will have champions that I will complete this. So this is not a priority. Now, prior to it, I needed stuff coming from here and I could actually complete those challenges with, without any issues. Same thing with champions. Upgrade, yes, I will upgrade skill at some point, very soon actually. So, I'll just wait for that time. Four champions of level 50, I'm almost there. I don't have to rush to get those level 50s because I'm already working on them. So as soon as it's done, I'll go to the next part. Dungeons. I am very close and it's really good because I will get a secret chart. So, magic keep on 10. Guess what? I can run one key, uh, a cup of energy, and actually finish those. Now, the only one that will be a bit of a challenge, uh, it will be the Fire at Night Castle. But guess what? Even if I take a couple of days to get to this point, not a big deal either. And I will have to run at some point some of those keeps, so whenever I have to, I'll just run them. Now, some of the ones prior to it, yes, you do have to rush a little more, but it's not the case. And also, also, the reason why I'm saying that I need to run in about two days because those kips will close. So I want to be able to get to that point. Arena, it is a thing. Gold one's not realistic right now. I can get to gold one very soon. The probably gonna be actually completing those because the moment you get to it with the champions I have, I'm gonna be hitting like major teams on gold one so chances for me to fully win it's gonna be slow but you know what as slow as it needs to be i just need to get completing this anyway that's for challenge guys quests uh always try to complete dailies they're very easy to do and that's gonna open to weekly and that's gonna open to monthly and advanced as you can some of them are very hard uh depends on a lot of things but whenever you can, it's great because you also get more energy. Okay. Um, I did reach uh, level 40 this morning. So as of right now, I cannot pass the third floor of Doom Tower. Now, the reason for that also is because, as you see, I just got those guys to 5 star. So pretty much when I tried their level 1 or maybe like 10. So I'm working on them, uh, and that pretty much gonna dictate a lot how I gonna be able to take the Doom Tower. What I think I should be able, maybe I should be able to uh, use all the keys and actually get to level 10 or so. I hope. Let's see what I have in here. Nothing that important right now. But yeah, so that's pretty much my strategy. It's pay attention on the missions what you have. I did not pay attention one of them when I got Kyle to level 60. And that was a prior mission from here that required me to have four five-star champions. What was the issue? I had four five-star champions that I even used for food. And if I had waited maybe an hour or more, I would have completed that mission without having to wait until the morning to get to this point so just one thing keep in mind again don't stress too much it took me a few more hours of gameplay and i got to this point okay now clan vs clan was a big help as well because you know you got a lot of chickens a lot of energy um a lot of good stuff i also use a lot of the uh our clan awards to buy energy Okay, right now for me, that's the main thing. Got a bunch of energy with that on the market. And I was very happy with that. So I, I already used six, right? So I still have about 400 more energy as if I as I start completing some of the Quen -quen, Clan quests. Anywho, okay. Again, great haul. Try to do as many battles as can in the arena. 
every time I get it open and I have energy, as see, I'm always run like one. That's okay, I got some for prizes, so I'm gonna be able to use more. But every single chance, I come in here, refresh. Even if you don't have energy, if you can't win against the teams in here, click on refresh and don't do anything. When you have energy, you come back, see if you can win one of those guys. If you can't, it's already gonna have come to zero again. Click again and pick your teams. All right. Uh, Tag Arena, doing all right. It's nothing crazy, let me refresh. I'm not going to do that right now, but like I said, I can come back later. Claim bosses, that's not being bad. Uh, I can one key right now, normal. I can one key easy and hard. I haven't fought right now. And I'm not going to fight because I do have one of the missions coming up, and that's what I said to pay attention. It's 1.5 million damage to the Demon Lord. And I can do that easy, even on hard. So I'm going to wait in here so I don't have to wait four hours, five hours for another key to drop. And I can jump right to the end because, ladies and gentlemen, Welcome to my vault, where I have all the champions I need, I just need to ascend them, what I have enough stuff to do. So, yeah, that's pretty much where I'm going with it. Now, the big question is, if I'm gonna wait until tomorrow to do that fusion, I don't know. Because I don't want to waste time after here, I want to try to run as fast as I can to this part so i mean i could wait till tomorrow morning uh, and just build up other stuff but it's not a big deal so yeah that's pretty much how i'm taking uh this game so right now our team scratch team is uh second place but we're getting really close hell hades if you guys if you guys want to follow it up, I'll leave a link below to the Hell Hades website. And just look at the scoreboards. The other thing too, you have all the creators who are participating. You guys should hit them up. Uh, take a look in their content. It's pretty cool, guys. Uh, right now, I have never followed so many people uh, on Raid Shadow Legends. And I'll be honest, I don't regret. A lot of those guys are solid. A lot of those guys are newer than me. But... They have really good content. So, like I said, it, it, just check it out, all right? Anyway, guys, thank you. If you be, if you got to this point of the video, thank you very much. Let me just, uh, just let you guys know, I will be streaming this weekend with my face on it. I'm sorry. I apologize, gentlemen and ladies. But anyway, guys, as always, I'll see you in the game.